So hello and welcome to Power Week, to another DAX Fridays videos and DAX news. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the improvements that the Power BI team has made on the DAX formula bars you know, that will help you edit DAX formulas easier. It is really, really good. And this is for the Power BI desktop update, December 2018. So the first one I've already shown you, if you follow me on the channel, you know that already. But the second one, hey, let's talk about that one. How about we get started? So the DAX editor keeps getting better and better and better for each release. This time it is actually two new functions. I have shown you already one of them. Let's go through that first. So the first one is the ability to zoom in and zoom out. So this is the month to year calculation. It has a lot of, you know, stuff in it. It's big, but if you click on that and then you control and then click on your mouse you know on the wheel on your mouse and you go up and down don't forget control so then you can do this smaller or bigger and this is good you know when editing videos i do the zooming afterwards but if you are doing a conference or you're speaking somewhere you don't have that possibility and you just want to, you know, zoom in so people can actually see what you're writing. This is a wonderful way to do it without using any Zoom program. So thumbs up. I've already shown you that. Now, let's back this out. One of the, the, the addition, the big addition for me this uh, month, it is the fact that, you know, up until now, you had 12, no, 11, 11 lines that were visible. And after that, you had to scroll, which it, it, it was not, not optimal, okay? Um, and th that was one of the reasons why, you know, when I wrote before uh, DAX measures, I've wrote, written them in lines. And you've been telling me, like, Ruth, you use DAX for modern you know, so you can format everything. And there are two reasons why I haven't done it. Number one is that if the measure is long and because we only had 11 rows, it just, you know, when you actually want to check if your travel sheet in your measure is scrolling up and down, you, I don't see anything. I'm a very visual person. I need to see things. So this works better for me you know because i could see everything now you can actually see the entire measure if we go to here i formatted it the way i, I like it and as you can see it's 13 you can continue and i can see everything and with this together with the all the shortcuts that i've shown you i've made two videos on that now when you tell me, Ruth, you need to format your DAX measures, I'm all of it. I have no excuse anymore not to do it. So definitely I would do. What what I do um, is I, I like to format my DAX measures my way. The, then the reason why it's my way is because it's the way I see DAX. When I work with DAX, I, I see... I need to filter this table, I need to create this table, and I create it in my mind, and I have this table, and then I'm going to filter from that table that, and then calculate is going to get that, and it's going to do a sum or an average or whatever it is, you know? So I see the steps in my head, and those steps are represented in how I format DAX. So the blocks that I see or the steps that I need to take to create my DAX measure, that's how I will format it. And that works very well for me. And, you know, sometimes using DAX formatted, they, they just do it the, the correct way. So you just, you know, everything is like expanded. And I don't naturally or necessarily want to do that all the time. So that's why now with the shortcuts, I, I do it manually. And then I say, okay, this is the table that it gets created. And then I filter that. 
like comes calculating that that so for example here you have calculate you know you have I need one date then I need another date and that is for the dates between and then you have calculate that goes in and that's everything here for the if condition I would like to have this is the condition and this is yes and no for me there is absolutely no gain in doing this okay so but here's the thing when you are learning DAX, you are going to watch and listen and read a lot of people that are going to give you all kinds of tips. And those are tips that works for them. And you might say, okay, those are tips that most people recognize are the ones. Sure. But still, I think you need to pick the tips that resonate with you. Tips that make sense to you and allows you to create DAX easily. So if you are doing something that neither I or anybody else is doing, but it works for you, do it. Do it. Forget about what everybody is saying. Just find what works for you. Stick to that. If it gives you trouble, you need to reconsider. But if it works, who cares? Just do it. Okay. So that is my best tip I can do. I can give you when learning anything, basically, not just Power BI. Just do whatever resonates with you, and that will probably work best. Off topic, off track, but anyhow, have a great Friday. Um, it is Power Week. We have one video more to go. I think I'll release it in the weekend. Um, but uh, So maybe I'll see you soon. Bye. Take care.